we have Yuffie's dual cam video doorbells and we have the battery version and the wired version. Which one is better? Well, let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we will compare Yuffie's latest video doorbell releases. They released the dual cam video doorbell, the battery version, last February. And they also recently released the wired version a few weeks ago. I have reviewed these video doorbells individually and if you haven't seen them yet, I will link them down below. We'll check out the similarities and mostly the differences between these two doorbells and check out the video quality and test them and see which type, battery or wired, will be a better fit for your front door. Now I'll tell you though, if you have an existing doorbell wires at your home, just go with a wired version just to have a more reliable setup and you will learn why later on. The wired version though has an Achilles heel by design and I'll tell you also in a bit. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. Yuffie's dual video doorbell's main selling point is that it has two cameras and one is pointing down so that it can monitor packages at your front door. Also, these lens on both battery and wired has some manual adjustability side to side so you can adjust where you point the second camera. It has package detection where you will get notified when a package is detected and also when somebody picks it up. And you can set package guarding so that when somebody approaches your door while you have a package out, it will play one of the built-in responses or customized response that you set. Both of them will also have spotlights pointing downwards that will turn on when motion is detected at night and helps in seeing if there are any packages left at night. My overall experience with this feature though is that it's not 100% reliable on both of them. At this time anyways, sometimes it detects package, sometimes it doesn't. I think though that this feature is evolving and will get better as time goes on. What's reliable though is their motion detection and the wired version is more reliable overall. Battery powered cameras will always sacrifice reliability which you will see later on during my porch pirate testing. And how these two video doorbells detect motion is one of their main big differences. The battery version uses a PIR sensor which detects heat movement. But Yuffie also added radar detection to make it more reliable. But these two detectors will only trigger the camera to record at the time when it detects motion. The wired version on the other hand, because it is constantly powered, it is always on. And uses the camera itself on what it sees if there is movement. And it will start recording but will add 3 seconds of footage before motion has been detected. So you're not going to miss the start of the motion. Both systems have AI person detection which it will only record person detected events. Now just to clarify, you will not change how the battery doorbell detects motion even if you wire it in with your existing doorbell wires. It will only charge and top off the built-in batteries and will sound your chime. It will still use the PIR sensor and radar for detection. Talking about chime and a little bit ironic is that the battery doorbell can sound your existing chime when you wire it in. But the wired version, because you have to use jumper wires to properly power it, it will not be able to ring your chime. It does come with a separate plug-in chime that it uses. The battery version also has the home base act as a chime when somebody presses the doorbell. As to how it handles recording, both doorbells record motion activated events locally. With a battery powered doorbell, it records to Yuffie's home base which is plugged in inside your home. It has a 16GB capacity of built-in storage that is not expandable and you actually share this if you have other UFI battery cameras that uses the home base. On the other hand, the wired version stores the recorded footage on the doorbell itself. 8GB of internal storage and this is the Achilles heel of this doorbell. If someone decides to steal or vandalize and destroy your doorbell, all the footage will be gone. You do have an option to sign up for Yuffie's cloud recording for backup. I think these are the main differences between the two and now time for testing. So this is the video and audio quality of Yuffie's dual doorbell, the battery version. And uh, this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the uh, video and audio quality of UV's dual doorbell wired and this is with the uh, HDR turned on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door.
So this is the video quality at night and this I have to turn off the auto night vision so that it will be in full color and I have my front porch lights on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of UT's dual cam video doorbell, the wired version, and this with my lights uh, on and the auto night vision is turned off. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. This is the video quality of UFI's dual cam at night and this with the auto night vision turned on as you can see I can see four infrared LEDs and also there is a spotlight right here for the lower camera but anyways this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I close to the door so this is the video quality of UFI's dual cam video doorbell wired at night and no lights and the auto night vision is turned on so it has it for infrared LEDs and also the bottom package lights are turned on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door we are going to compare the motion alert notification speeds between uh, Yuffie's dual doorbells the battery and the wired versions I've set both of them on the notification to have the full effect, meaning text first, then thumbnail. And it is 3.08, and I'm on my LTE connection. Let's check it out. Whoa, so that's the wired. It's pretty quick. And then the battery is pretty quick too on the text. And that's supposed to be have a thumbnail, which it doesn't. Okay, so on the wired, you press and hold, you'll see a thumbnail right there, and when you click on it, it should play the recorded footage. And you can set this and change this to uh, the uh, to live view if you want in the settings. Turn to 310, so we'll see what the notification cool off on both doorbells. There we go. Wow, they're, both of them are decently quick. All right, so let's test the uh, notification from doorbell push to notification speed. Let's try with the battery doorbell first. Hmm, a little bit delay there. There you go, and you can hear that tone. That's, that's a little bit too long. All right, how about the uh, wired one? It's there, but I didn't hear any chime or tone on this one. This is the audio quality coming out from Yuffie's dual doorbell battery. This is the audio quality coming out from Yuffie's dual doorbell battery. Excuse me, can I help you? Please leave it at the door. We will be right there. This is the audio quality coming out from Yuffie's dual doorbell wired. This is the audio quality coming out from Yuffie's dual doorbell wired excuse me can i help you please leave it at the door we will be right there we are going to deliver a package and see if the package detection uh, works on both of these uh, doorbells and i'm just gonna place this right here and i got the wired one get me a notification already same thing with the battery uh good the wired doorbell has a package alert and same thing with the battery Porch Pirate Test. Excuse me. Can there I you go. Can I, help you? I know the wired one. Got a notification there. Cool. Both of them. The battery one is just a little bit delayed. Now that I've pointed out some of the differences between these two types of dual video doorbells, which one will you pick?
Video quality is the same on both. As to the notification speed, I know that the wired one will be better and I was surprised on how fast it was the first time I reviewed it. The battery version is slower but it's better than before and that was my main complaint when I initially reviewed it. Doorbell push to notification speed is a bit delayed on the battery and on the wired, I don't get any audible alerts so it is something that Yuffie still need to look at. Now the main reason why I recommend the wired version instead of the battery one is this applies to any security camera, is the recording, cool off. When I first tested the cameras for package detection, I went back for the porch pirate testing in less than a minute. The wired version actually continued to record from when I dropped off the package and when I picked it up. Now the battery one only recorded up to 49 seconds and the setting in the power manager is set to optimal surveillance. So when I went back for the porch pirate test, it was in its cool off mode and it didn't record the motion and the package that was picked up. I know one of the modus operandi of these porch pirates is to follow the delivery guys and when they drop off a package and by the time they go back to their vans, the package that they delivered is already being hauled off by the porch pirates. And if they just go within that cool off phase of battery cameras, they will not get recorded. You will be notified that a delivery came in and the package was left but by the time you try to pick it up, it is already gone. And you will end up just scratching your head because it recorded the delivery but not when it was picked up. That is why I would never trust a battery powered camera for security. I do have and use them but there's always a plug-in or a wired one as a backup. Actually, the wired one is the main one and the battery powered one is more for backup. Both of these dual doorbells have their quirks, but overall, they should be fine as a video doorbell. Just have a backup camera if you can't install one. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.